It started as an initiative from the Adelaide Jazz Festival Committee who felt that there was a need for a jazz festival of, of quite significant size in, in Adelaide. And uh, the, the idea was to try and, and showcase the enormous variety of jazz bands that we have and the enormous talent that we have in South Australia. So we've just enjoyed the Swedish Jazz Kings, they've been fantastic. Yeah. Dixieland jazz, so we got uh, the best of like two Chris worlds and... by watching the Dixieland first and then the big band second. There are all aspects of jazz in it, and um, so that way it will it will actually appeal to everybody. So you've got your Dixieland and your traditional, you've got your big band, you've got your swing, you've got your contemporary, you've got your modern, you've got e even a bit of acoustic and perhaps a little bit of acid jazz. Well, the headliners we've got this year are the Swedish Jazz Kings which are from Sweden, which are our first international band. We also have Hotter Than Six from Melbourne, who were the great hit last year. We have the Catholics, which are a contemporary group from uh, Sydney, and also Lee Gunness, who's an amazing gospel singer from Newcastle. <laughs> It's absolutely a wonderful festival. I think it is the best run festival that I have seen. Um, it's only the second year that it's been going and I think it's absolutely fabulous. Wonderful place to sing. check out all the other bands in Adelaide and support each other. Oh, we've really enjoyed playing at the festival here. We played last year, but it's much bigger and better this year. We got a better stage as well this year, which was good, and the audience was just magnificent. Yes, good bands, great. good music, good Steve food, been good drink. Better this been year. very impressed with it all. You now you appeal to the jazz segment, you appeal to the wine and food and wine segment, you put them together, and you have what we have here today.